Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's hear what God is saying to us today. Luke chapter 20, verse 25. The disciples told Thomas, We have seen the Lord, but he replied, I won't believe it unless I see the nail wounds in his hands, put my fingers into them, and place my hand into the wound in his side. I suspect that we all have some sympathy for Thomas and are not inclined to blame him for his reluctance to believe that Jesus had actually risen from death. We know that there was often a competitive spirit among the disciples and they were no doubt happy to brag that they had seen the Lord. I'm sure Thomas desperately wanted to believe that they were right, but he needed to be sure and so he asserted that he needed evidence. More than a week later, Jesus came to the disciples who, once again, were meeting behind locked doors. He invited Thomas to see the evidence and to put his hand into the wound in his side. John doesn't record whether Thomas actually took Jesus up on this offer or not. Thomas simply exclaimed, My Lord and my God. He was absolutely convinced. Jesus observed that Thomas believed because he had seen him and added, Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. Clearly, we don't have the opportunity to check the evidence in the way that Thomas did. So what are we supposed to do with our doubts? First of all, we should accept that doubts are a normal part of life. I don't believe that God calls us to take a leap in the dark, which is what many people think faith is all about. He has, in fact, given us a huge amount of evidence. He invites us to look at his amazing creation to see the way in which he reveals himself in the Bible, to listen to the testimony of the people who followed him over the past 2,000 years, and to learn from the experience of the Christians around us. Yes, God does call us to take a leap of faith, but it's a leap in the light. So let me ask you a question. What do you do when you face doubts? And now let me pray with you. Lord God, when we face doubts, Help us to open our eyes to the evidence of yourself in creation, in history, and in the Christians around us. Amen. Well, thanks for listening. I do encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And don't forget that the talks are also available on podcast, which can be accessed at any time. If you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and a great deal more besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a really good day.